Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. We are continuing our coverage of this groundbreaking model DeepSeek R1. In this video, I am going to show you how easily you can use this DeepSeek Reasoner or DeepSeek R1 in your code with OpenAI's compatible API. We will be using hosted model at deepseek.ai and so for that you would need to go to their website which is deepseek.ai and I will drop the link in video's description. From there you would need to sign up. Once you are signed up, you need to obtain your API key from your profile. You might get some free credits initially which you can use for um, trying out this API but as my credits have run out so I have been using the paid option with deepseek.ai. And I will be showing you the full code, which you can readily use. I will also give you the code. I will drop the code in my GitHub repo and you can access that code from there if you want to try it out. The best thing about this API based access of DeepSeek Reasoner model is that it is OpenAI compatible. Most of the companies and users, they are using OpenAI's models at the moment. And if you have built your Gen AI applications with OpenAI's model, then if you want to use this DeepSeek model, the good news is that it's a drop in replacement. Your whole code will remain the same. The only thing which you need to do is to change your model name and your API key. Hopefully you have built your API application as modular and by following the best coding practices. So all you would need to do is to change your some of the config file and that should be it. I will be showing you the whole concepts before we start. Let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy and configure a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's start. Also, if you want to get this DeepSeek uh, model, the Reasoner model, the R1 model installed locally, or if you want to integrate it with your coding agent, just search my channel. I already have done close to 10 to 12 videos on R R1 in the last few days, and I'm sure you will find what you're looking for. So let me take you to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu system. First up, let me quickly create a virtual environment. This is not mandatory, but I always install it so that everything remains separate. Next up, you need to just install OpenAI's package. Yes, you don't have to install any DeepSeek package here. And if you already have it, just upgrade it because that is what uh, is supported in the upgraded version, the DeepSeek model. And then you would need to set your API key. So all you need to do is to do export and then deepseek underscore api underscore key. Let me set this and clear the screen. Okay, so package is installed, API key is set and we are all ready to do the API calls in our code by using this deepseek reasoner model. Let me straight take you to my VS code and I will start showing you the code. Now, there are three examples which I'm going to serve you. First is with single API call then second one will be with multi round and then third one would be fill in the middle all of these examples they are using deep seek reasoner model now what this model does is before delivering the final answer the model first generates a chain of thought to enhance the accuracy of its responses and this api provides users with access to chain of thought content generated by deep seek r1 model which enables us to view display and distill the content returned by the API call. So let's get started. First, we are importing these libraries and then we are obtaining the API key which we have set in our environment variable. We are checking if API key is set or not. And then this is where we are instantiating the client. And you see that API key is this, but the base or the API endpoint is DeepSeek one. Then we are just simply giving it a prompt. You can of course replace this prompt with your own. And from there, we are generating the response with DeepSeek Reasoner. And then we are getting the response back. We are obtaining the data out of the whole response because it generates a lengthy response. And then we are displaying it. So let me take you to my terminal. And then we can run this by simply calling Python 3 
single api dot api so let me run it and there you go it has returned the response so you see it says again the same reasoning which we have seen in other our other videos but look how cool this api uh, determines it that it has shown you the steps all the chain of thought step by step and then it has given us the file final answer in a very very proper format which you can programmatically use through your api calls so real good stuff so this is just a single api call maybe you want to do multi round stuff multi round chat or whatever in that sense for that you would write a code like this and don't worry as i said i'm going to give you the whole code uh, i will drop the link to my github repo in video's description okay so from here you see we are again importing the libraries and then we are instantiating the client in the round one we are giving it this question it generates the question uh, response sorry and then we append that response here and then once the response is appended we are asking it another question and then we are printing out the response so let me run this multi-round one i'm just going to say multi and then let's run it let's wait for it and it takes a bit of a time because it is reasoning it is thinking so you just have to be patient i have seen that it sometime it takes around uh, 20 seconds to return the response so you see it has returned as the uh, round one answer and then now it is working on the round two also remember that this api uh, is a stateless api so it doesn't really um, record the context of your previous round one and that is why we have concatenated or appended all previous conversation history and then we have passed it on to the chat api with each request so you see it has given us the strawberry one so let me scroll up a lot of data is there so this is where it has done the chat completion and then it has given us a final answer and in this one if you remember i have printed out the whole response sorry let me go that is why it has given us some other metadata too whereas in the other one i just gave you the content that is why it was clean but i just wanted to show you both as how it looks like with the metadata and uh, without it as i showed you in the multi-round stuff okay so this is multi-round third and another example we will do the film or the fill in the middle completion so in this one user can provide a prefix and a suffix suffix is optional and the model will complete the content in between and this film is commonly used for content completion code completion mainly code completion again we are importing the libraries we are instantiating the client and then this is a deep seek reasoner model and this is a prompt this is our suffix you can remove that and then model is going to fill between this prompt and this suffix and we are just giving the max token 128 so let me go here and then let's run this let's wait for it okay what happened here okay so it is uh it says that it is not supporting it that is interesting okay i thought it already supports it but it seems that a uh, reasoner model doesn't support fim at the moment the deep seek chat one does support it so for example if i change the model here to chat let me save it and let me run it again let's check it out now okay it says that completion api is only available when using beta api okay so let me set my base url to this so i'm not really curating this video i'm just showing you as is so please bear with me let me change the okay sorry you see now you know my <laughs> a deep ckp call so let me remove that and let me properly set the beta one here and now i have just replaced the beta api here and maybe i will check with the reasoner one and then we will see it works or not and then if not we will check it with um, this one so let me run this let's wait for it no it doesn't support it that is fine let's do the chat one 
let me save it let's check it out i will let it run there you go so fim is supported by chat model but not the reasoner model anywhere i think if we do the prompting right we might be able to even do it with the help of uh, maybe this one who knows so let's try it out i have replaced the fim code with my own code and i'm trying to handle the fill in the middle with a prompting so rest of it remains the same where we are importing stuff then this is a prompt and <clears throat> i'm saying it that i'm going to give you an incomplete code chunk where you need to review the code and then fill in the blank with missing code where you find word blank in code just replace it with code you think should be there here is a code so i provided it that fibonacci sequence this is a blank and this is what we are returning and then rest of it remains the same so let's see if it fills the blank with just prompting i'm just going to run it i will let it run so that we watch it together what it does here and by the way i know that you know my api key don't worry i'm going to rotate it there you go so it has very correctly identified that this is a fibonacci function and then it has told us what it needs to do and it has done it perfectly fine very very nice so you see with the power of uh, prompting you can do the film even if it doesn't support it like in a uh, chat way so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching